Thank you all. We've reached the final week um, of our oysters, of raising our oysters out here on the dock. Our family, um, our volunteers for the Brevard County Zoo and the Restore Our Shores Foundation. We've been raising oysters and clams, but oysters now for several years for the foundation. Um, they'll eventually be used, they'll be taken from our dock and eventually be used, placed throughout the Indian River Lagoon to help improve the water quality and the ecosystems in the lagoon. Yeah. And this is our homecoming week. This is the week that, in fact, the foundation tried to pick them up the other day, but Hurricane Adalia stopped that uh, progress. But this is the final week. The foundation's gonna come pick them up from us. Um, before I go any further, we have to give a shout out to Guy and Sarah. Um, mm -hmm. Guy is a former neighbor of ours and Sarah's Annalise's best friend, and they've been helping us with the oysters and clams while we've been out of town. They've been a huge help. We couldn't have done it without them. So, yeah. you know, I say our family are volunteers, but they volunteered too. Oh so. yeah, and they've been doing it for the past three weeks. So yeah, they were a big been, help. Uh, it's been awesome, because they're so heavy right now too, so we couldn't really ask anybody. Yeah. We needed to ask yeah. someone that was strong enough to lift them. Yeah, for sure. If you're wondering real quick why Annalise has Band-Aids on her face, she was in a bad uh, mountain, bike, mountain bike accident in North Georgia. Uh, ended up unconscious and in the hospital yeah. about a week and a half ago. I'm actually but, looking pretty good. Yeah, she's recovered pretty pretty nicely. But um, so here we are. We're in the final week. Whoa! Look how clear the water is. I know. I can see it. Holy cow! Oh, it's oh, so wow. clear. And for it to be clear this time of year with the heat and everything, yeah. this is real good. That's, That's a good sign. Hopefully, none of this stuff. When this stuff gets over the clams, yeah. I have to like shut it off. We might have to come out here and sweep them. Get stuck on the nets. Wow, it's so clear. Look at that. That's awesome. Yeah, it is awesome. Today's a good day to be doing it. Yeah, so we're going to pull them out. This is our final time pulling it out. We started with two cages, usually when your habitats, usually when you sign up for the program, you get two habitats. Um, but we opted for extras. Uh -huh. Two were accidentally placed on our neighbor's dock and lost for a couple weeks. Um, and then we found them. Um, and then the oysters just grew so much we had to keep... Um, up caging them basically and now we have 12 habitats so yes. let's go ahead and pull we them out we even need more than yeah that we probably do it's so a good heavy. it's a good thing they're coming to pick them up today there's yeah. no doubt you can see where these spawning holes there some kind of fish was spawning I think it's, um uh, skates or oh yeah you, you might be right yeah that's why you get stung by them because they kind of burrow all right, you want to hold the camera? Yeah. I'm going to put these gloves on. I also have shoes on because uh, you don't want to mess around. These cages will cut you up. And yeah. so will the oysters. Yes. So. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, man, it's so clear. Look how clear it is. Oh, my gosh, look how There's crazy There's fish it down is. there. Some uh, kind of, maybe a, I can't tell what it is. All right. Oh, look at them. A couple of oysters oh. are open. Oh. All right, though. It happens. A lot of them are open. Right, one. Oh, looks like we got a blue crab on this one. Nope, those were just zip ties. So what we're doing here, I'm just doing this to try and get some of the silt off of them before we pull them out. Other than them being open, they look pretty good. Yeah. So yeah, we're trying to get the silt off of them before we pull them out. Um, then I'm going to hose them down, and then we're going to let them sit here for up to eight hours to mimic a low tide. Yeah. And so what that'll do is any predators that we don't see in here that need to be in the water will just die. Yeah. Um, they look great. They do look good. You can smell them. Other than them being open. Bit. Oh, this yeah. one's sitting on the ground. That's not good. Ugh. It's stuck. There we go. Whoa. I'm not supposed to be sitting on the ground. That it still looks pretty good. I think Sarah said she had to fix one. Yeah. That's probably the one. Uh, all these things are heavy. Ooh, they smell a little bit too. They do. They've been smelling yeah. these last Since months. The right. You can see like the muck coming off of them. We're still throwing all the poop out of the river. Yeah. They do look pretty good though. They do, other than them being so open. Yeah. I noticed a lot of them are open. Yeah. It might mean that they're dead. I don't think it does though. Well, well the foundation was out here the other day. Yeah. I think they looked at them. I'm sure they did. They just couldn't get them out because it was so windy. 
may have to be careful. Nothing in them. Yeah, no predators. They are all open. They are all open. Yeah. I've never seen that before. I'm gonna need them. They're not really squirting either. No, they're not, are they? I hope they all didn't die. Let's pull this one up slow and see if any of them squirt. Be a bummer. Yep, there's no. Yeah, I see some squirting. Oh, no, that's no just it's dripping. Mm. I there's too much fresh water from the storm. Yeah. That would be such a bummer, all yeah. this effort. Yeah, we got a lot of work into these, that's for sure. I don't see any squirting either. Too, don't they? Yeah, but I mean, uh, Sarah's been cleaning them. Yeah. So. All right, well, we'll hose them off. I'll let them sit here. Maybe we'll call the foundation and talk to them about yeah. it because uh, this is definitely a new yeah. development for we've us. We've never seen this many open. And I mean, we've seen some open, yeah. but not all of them open. This is terrible. Yeah. So. All right, well, I'm going to start cleaning them. Uh, we'll touch base with them and, and see what they say about it. Yeah, them. sounds good. All right, guys, we're back, and it's sad to say, but I think almost all of our oysters have perished. You can tell by looking at them, they've all been open. If an oyster is open, that means it is dead. So it's so sad. Usually when we pull these out of the water, they're squirting water, doing their job, cleaning the, cleaning the water, but alas, they died. So we've investigated, I contacted Hope with the um, foundation and she sent me a big explanation saying that they had heard of a fish kill in the area um, and uh, <clears throat> so then I called and I talked to my neighbors and they had reported a fish kill at our neighborhood dock um, and they had FWC, Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation come out to um, our river park and test the water and uh, the salinity was real real low um, and there was a giant you know uh, mass of dead fish everywhere and I think that our oysters were killed as well. Um, I hope sent me an explanation um, explaining how a fish kill happens. Um, nitrogen and phosphorus are the abundant nutrients that <clears throat> can get from runoff of farms and houses and uh, septic tanks and all the pollution that um, gets run off into the river and then um, the algae feeds off, off of all these nutrients and when the excess amount of these nutrients lead to algae blooms it kills all the oxygen in the water which kills all the fish and leads to fish kills and oyster kills. I am so blown away by the fact that these died. Um, we've been doing this for so long and we have never seen anything so tragic happen and it sucks because we have 12 of these cages. Um, the good thing is is that they were cleaning the water while they were alive. I'm going to go through all of them. I'm going to sort them all out and see what we have, if there's anything in here that's living. And I will get back with you guys and let you know. Alright, so I just did two of the pots of these and 100% of all the oysters were dead. Um, every single one of them was open. There was one, I think one and one of them that wasn't open and then I left it for like a second and then when I got back it was open just like a tiny bit. So 
I really don't think any of these survived. I guess this is why we are needing to do this to help the river survive because we shouldn't be having fish kills like this that are killing oysters that are, in my opinion, a very strong species. So, all right, well, I guess that concludes our adventure this year with the oysters. To leave you on a positive note, here's all the dead oysters here underneath this mangrove we have. I'm hoping that maybe all these dead oysters will provide habitat for baby oysters because we have them growing on our seawall. Let's see if I can show you guys. I don't know if you can see that or not, but they are growing on the seawall and they don't get very big. So maybe they will spawn onto these oysters and create a new habitat. So all isn't totally lost and there's no reason to give up and not do it again next year either. Even though it's a lot of work, it's totally worth it if I know that it's making the lagoon Indian River Lagoon a better place and habitat for all the animals and we gotta just keep fighting to make everything better than it was before.